if you came to my video to see if there's actually a solution to preventing your monitor from going into power safe sleep mode and you feel like throwing it in the bonfire well stay tuned because I watched another guy's video and the solution that he offered actually worked so thanks Rolando I appreciate the information okay I watched a video where a guy talks about taking your computer apart the issue was my Dell monitor only goes into power saving mode and um, it started doing that after I watched another video on how to prevent the um, screen from flickering. All I did was took the VGA cable which was plugged into here and I moved it to here and ever since then the computer is just going in the monitor goes into sleep mode so I hated to do it but I did a hard crash and I've now just about completed this uh, other guy's suggestion on how to get the computer out of sleep mode and his suggestion was to take this panel off of course and remove these um, you can't see them too well but I'm on the last one. I didn't need to film the whole thing because it, it took me a while. But whatever these are, took them all out. They got brass. And he's saying just put your eraser on it. He even suggested there's a battery down there, lithium battery, taking that out and cleaning it. Well, I suspect, well, obviously, that battery is the same battery. It's been there in, in there since this computer was new. And I honestly don't even remember when I bought this computer, but it was a long time ago. And that's all you do. That's all he did. And not only did it work for him, but a, a lot of the people in the comments were saying it worked for them. So it's fairly simple. It only goes in one way. And uh, like I said, I've already done the other three. And I notice on mine, which you're probably not getting a good view of right now, but when, as long as you put it back in the right slot. There are four of them side by side. If you push down on one end, the tab goes in by itself. I don't know if you caught that. The tabs, this is how you release them. You just push these tabs down and then you pull them out, one on each end. But like I said, you push down on one end, the tab closed by itself, and it will do the same thing on this end, but you probably can't see it because the wires are in the way. But you heard it. Okay, there's the battery. I got this tool. Can you see it? Get my screwdriver here. Put this back and use my hook. Oh, this will work. Well, it didn't look that dirty anyway. CR2032. I'm just going to wipe this thing off and put it right back in. Make sure the negative side goes down. Actually, I should maybe put it like this. Tuck it under. Oh, there. That's not bad. Okay, that's done. Let's see if it works. Okay, just so you know, the panel slides off just like that. Okay? You just got to put it on, line it up. There's a couple of grooves. Push it on. That's all there is to getting that on and off, except for a couple of screws. This side comes off too. I've never had that off. I've only needed to take this side off for cleaning. 
and this is the first time I've actually taken anything out of it and did what I did there. Okay, everything's plugged back in. Let's try it out. My computer's in a really screwy spot. It's on, but what do I, what's this say? F11 if you wanted to boot through network, F11. I suspect one of two things, either because I forgot to turn my modem back on, giving me internet, or the fact that I had to do a hard crash in order to um, open up the computer to do what I did but I fast forwarding through this section because I there's nothing here that I can tell you that I know for sure was the repair there forgot to turn my modem on maybe that maybe that was the cause of all that grief jeepers well I can honestly say that that guy's suggestion of taking those out and just giving them a rub with an eraser it worked Praise God, it worked. Uh, right here, how to fix power saving mode problem re-upload. This is the guy. Uh, his, uh, I want to give a shout out to Rolando Torres. I think that's how you say your last name. But this is the guy's video. And I already did comment, but I want to update my comment. Wait, yeah, and you know what? I noticed my screen's not flickering. And normally by now it would be, it would be uh, driving me up the wall. So let's hope that solve that problem. Yeah, what I was saying before, I don't know if I finished my thought on that. It actually didn't. I went to Gmail, and that's where it started flickering again. But not as bad as it was. So this guy is a video I watched. He uploaded this March 23rd, 2018. It's got over 60,000 views. Um, it worked. Most of the comments say yes, it worked. And that's why I chose to try his method and it's, as you can see, it worked. So, um, yeah. I'm just gonna mention on my, add my comment to say yeah, thanks for the tip, it definitely worked. If you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you feel like it, subscribe. If not, it's not the end of the world. But I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to watch.